Pretty. You know, every single guest on this podcast has tried to sleep with me, right? You think I'm a guest? And we're back. Uh, we're back. Welcome back to the Sunset Mouth Podcast, the only podcast in the world where you, you lose your voice over the weekend from uh, going down on too many chicks. Am I right, brother? No, I thought I was... Am I, am I right, brother? Well, listen, <clears throat> first of all, you're not wrong. I'm not wrong. But I thought I was the intro guy. Well, you, not today. Not when, I got, not when I got a sickness like that. I don't like it. You don't like it? I didn't like it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <clears throat> Ready? Uh, yeah. High five. And uh, we're welcome glad. back to the, back podcast, to the podcast. Only podcast, the only podcast, podcast in the world. Going down on chicks, and that's some metal music. Look at this photograph. That's how you do it. That's well. You know, there's I, a reason why I do it, and why you're the second guy, the like the the kind of like the ugly clown guy who's just like in the you know the helper. I was talking about someone to someone about the podcast last week, and they're like, "Is this Corka?" Berating you for an hour or for twenty minutes. I it's love qu- it. It's Quirka telling you the truth. All, all my exes watch this, and they're all like, "Oh, it's the best." <laughs> Speaking of your ex, um... <laughs> Wong Ping, Wong Ping, get out! What are you doing on the balcony, Wong Ping? But no, we, we we can't open the door during this. It's okay. Leave him. The guy banging Quirka's mom is here, and he's like, "I'll just sit on the balcony quietly." You don't have to. And li- literally ten seconds of the podcast, he's talking on the balcony. You don't have to say he's the guy banging my mom. He's technically the guy who's uh, plowing my mom. Would be more. Now he lost his voice. I've noticed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We all so, know how that happens. So let me tell you something first. So speaking of your mm-hmm. ex, mm-hmm. Uh, so Rafi came into my work. I have a, I started working at a new place, Stock Market, this this week, and you came to visit. Mm-hmm. You're super drunk, and I played That's a prank true. on you. That is true. I love playing tricks on Rafi. I love it. I can't, I can't, I can't help myself. It's my least favorite thing in the world. Mm-hmm. It's the best. So you come in and uh, you're on a friend date. The, the worst part is with her friend Emma, who, I, by the way, let's give a nice shout out to Emma, who's uh, one of our. She watches almost every single episode. One of our biggest fans. Introducing fan of the month. Now, now here's the thing. I set myself up because I'll say something as a joke, but then you're like. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so you're you're feeding me shots. I'm shit faced at the table. You were already too drunk. I should have too drunk. You off. You, you, yeah, you're a bad server. And then these three cute girls are sitting at the table there. And then I, I just saw you come from them. And I'm like, Hey, Gorka, give them this from me. And I just give you a dirty napkin. Right? It's something you'd mm-hmm. never do. But then you're like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna step it up though. I took yeah. it up a notch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it up a notch. Because you're gonna lose your job if you give them a dirty napkin, buddy. I don't if 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 I haven't lost my job already for going on t- down on too many chicks. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Then I'm not gonna lose it now for that, you know. So yeah. anyway, the bar's super low there. So anyway, I'm like, I'm gonna step up a nosh. So I bought uh, a table of three girls, three shots, and I I point show the clip Wang Ping that in a sec. I uh, I point over at Rafi. I'm like, that guy said you're super cute. Shots on him. Uh, well, I said if you guys, if you you know what I said if you girls like to get downed on the dirty dog over there, he'll do the trick. Um, and then you're on the day and it was. You'll see in the clip, and you're just like, it showed you, and you're just like. (laughs) The worst part is, beside them was your girlfriend and another, like a friend of ours, Mm -hmm. and I just went to their table to talk to them for a bit, and then I leave, and then you point. And then, like, I'm sitting with Emma, and then you point, and you're like, oh, that guy bought you shots. I'm talking to every single girl on the patio. Mm-hmm. I, I seem like the biggest scumbag yeah, yeah. in downtown You look downtown at the biggest Toronto. Casanova. You put the no in Casanova, but you were really, you were up there. Um, so this was my initial plan, because <clears throat> we ended it there. I was yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know how there could possibly be more. Oh, there was more. I just you, got... You bring in all burgers? I got busy. <laughs> oh, he got, he got you the extra special patty yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah. It, he said that you guys look really fuckable, <laughs> so he got you a couple patties, which are also fuckable. Now you're looking... Now you look you know, like big girls, and you're like, but you're looking a little frail. You're like, eat up. <laughs> eat up. Ravi likes his girl's plump. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't fucking a girl that ain't plump. They're, they're like, can we just get our, can we just get our yeah, check? You're please. like, hold on. One of them was down. Um... The one who was already plump. Mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, so this is my initial plan. Uh, I had to cut it off there but because I got busy. But initially, when you went to the bathroom, I was going to swipe your credit card out of your bag. Um, and then also on top of that, I took care of the bill. I paid for the shots, but I was going to still charge you for it. But then in the end, when you couldn't find your wallet, your credit card, 
uh, you're gonna have to pay it back somehow. And I was gonna tell my manager that guy doesn't have money. I had to turn to pay. Emma. I'm like, Emma, baby. I, I, th- I thought I had my wallet in my pocket. I already dealt with that. I got Emma oh, to text her ex to go meet up with him so you'd be all alone. So initially I thought you're like going to have to stay and wash some dishes, you know, do some busing at the end of the night. At, at the end of the day, you just want to get me a job there. I'd love to work You just, just want to get me a job, mm-hmm. which I get. It's a foolproof plan. Listen, I'd love that. And guess what? I'm buying more girl shots this week. Yeah? You going down the, the, the dish, but I'm I'm the like I'm actually working there now. But McCorkey, give me some shots for me. I got the hairnet on. Hey, Raph, it's not the, it's not how it works, man. So, and then this is how I pictured it: when you're in that dish pit and you're washing dishes at one in the morning, like mm-hmm. everyone's long gone. Uh, I take your phone and take a picture of you, and I send it to your ex, who's recently married and very successful, and I send her a simple caption under it: "You chose the right guy. You chose the right guy." I would say. That's how I pictured it happening when I got you that random. Those girls that run the show. Anyways, uh, what, what, what else? I got something for you. I got something for Give you today. Give it to me. <clears throat> Is that a Me Too thing? I got Me too recently? No, it's, we're not going to talk about that. It's, um, okay. So I'm, I'm on Instagram We're going to talk about it eventually. I'm just, you know, I'm creeping on Instagram. You know, mm-hmm. you know how I do. You're looking to fuck. And, uh, You're looking to lick. I find, I find the account. Everyone knows Steve Harvey, famous host. You know, Mr. Hightower on the yeah. Steve Harvey show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great comedian. Never been Me Too'd. And then. Unlike uh, the comedian we know. And then there's this Steve Harvey. Okay. Ooh, Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey? Yeah, yeah, Steve Harvey. The audacity to just have his name Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. And then you go through the comments on his photos. Does, does he get abused? They're losing it on him. <laughs> You're not Steve Harvey, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a white bald guy, and we it, know, you yeah. know? And then uh, one guy's like, I hope your fucking fish drown, okay? It's getting abused. What's good, Steve? Some people are having fun with it. What? So, no, no. Some people can't see skin color. They just see bald. Yeah. One guy really thought it was Steve Harvey. One guy's just like, why would you shave the mustache? Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve Harvey lost the N-word pass. The Steve Harvey we knew but didn't deserve. Just, they're just losing on him. What's up, Mr. Hightower? That's, that's how you got to read it. We used to have a history of that. We would always tag our friends when we were going out for drinks. But yeah. if someone didn't have Instagram or Twitter or whatever it was, we were still going to tag We would name. still tag them. And there is, uh, we would take so many strangers in the States and we'd get so many messages from people that I'm married with kids. Please yeah. stop tagging me in all your posts. We called him George Ohio because yeah. he was in Ohio apparently. And we're, we're tagging him. We abused this guy. And we're like, you ready, you ready to get fucked up? You ready to lose your voice tonight? And he's like, please, I have, I have a wife and kids. <laughs> for six I, months? I'm, I'm living in Ohio. Right? No, we'll Ra- see you at the running, motherfucker. <laughs> Ravi, for th- six months, we would tag him every weekend. And he, he didn't know how to block. He's yeah. an old dude. I hope one day, like a year later, uh, he just pops up at the door. He shows up. And he's not looking good. He's like, hey, he's like, all right, boy. He's, he's in a wheelchair. We'll, he's got an eye patch. We'll, 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 I need those. He's going through a divorce. You did this to me. We're, I need those drinks. But let's go to the strip club. We're like, oh, well, no, 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 Ooh. Ravi, Ravi. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> we, don't, he, we were such a big are, part of his life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you're the, you're the <laughs> my wife. That I was cheating because of you, punks. Oh, you know, he's one of those guys from the crazy hospital down the street. And we get him submitted. Let's, let's put him in the crazy hospital. Yeah, and we have uh, hookups there, so we can put you. By the way, if anyone tries to cross us, and some people have, I'll put you in the crazy hospital. I've done it before. I feel like I'm there every time I'm here. Shut up, or I'll put you in next with all my ex-girlfriends. And by the way, you know spoiler alert. I haven't seen any of them ever after you break up. And can I say something? None of them were crazy. I was, though. But well, I we, got hookups. We know. Mm-hmm. Well, we all know. You know why I put them away? You know why we broke up? They didn't let me go down on them enough. I really, Rock and roll. I really regret making that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm going to eat so much push tonight. Man, I hope this isn't I hope the, my girlfriend's watching I hope this. this isn't the one episode of Mom Watches. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, I hope it's not either because <laughs> she's in for a dessert treat too. <laughs> Dinner and a show. Um, so sp- let's get back to your Me Too thing. Because uh, I really... so Sorry, Mom. Uh, Me Too is a big thing. I really hope one day all these allegations come out about you. And it's like... And, I'm, and I... But without even talking to you, I stand up. I go, I know Rafael Luca Dellis. He's my best friend. I talk to him four hours a day on the phone every mm-hmm. single day. I know every detail mm-hmm. of his life, every corner. And then you go... Oh, no, no. Yeah, I did. I did all those things. Mm-hmm. But you got my back, right, buddy? No, no, but you go, that wasn't Rafael Luca Dallas. Oh. That was, what's your fake name? Frank Dakota. I like Dave Dakota. Dave Dakota? Yeah, I like Dave Dakota. Let's do you know, Dakota. We already have a friend, Dave, that loves Coda. Yeah, we, we have a friend, Dave, who's been me too, as well. <laughs> 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 we can't do, let's do Frank Dakota. Uh, Frank Dakota it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but while I was thinking about it, what a genius name if you're going to have this alias. You, instead of having like a name like Marcus Anderson mm-hmm. or Steve Smith, you got to have a, a location as a last name. 
Like, if I was ever going to be a, a secret predator, my name would be Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Good luck finding me, you piece of shit. You'd be like, yeah, you can just find me on Facebook. <laughs> no problem. You got to take me in locations every time you want to take me to post. That'd be funny. You're at a bar. You're being scummy. Uh, you go up to this girl. You're like, my name's Dallas, Texas. And then they're like, what? That guy's name's Fort Worth, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there with a fake mustache. <laughs> You'd never have to buy condoms again with a name like that. I mean, you should still. You don't need a plan B. Your plan A is your name. Unless you need plan B. My f- good fake name would be Plan B. Imagine <laughs> just meeting a girl, you bang her. What's yeah. your name again, boss? I don't know. I'm dating a, a banging a little <laughs> a, a Mexican, Mexican busser. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Close. Oh. <laughs> My name is Plamb. Plamb. That'd be so funny. But you always wink at her too. My name is Plamb. My name is Plamb. <laughs> Rock and roll, boys. Three, two, one. Rockin' and a roll. I don't know what that means. Rock and roll! Yeah. And rock. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for more, right? I'm waiting for more. <laughs> you got me again. I have to keep you guessing. <laughs> All right. I did Ancestry.com. <clears throat> I didn't know you were supposed to spin the tube. I came in it. Still came back. It told me I was Serbian. I asked them, I was like, how did you guys know I was Serbian? And they said, well, you had chlamydia, chlamydia. <laughs> ah, the joke's over. <laughs> I want to hear the ending. Okay, let's go back. I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> yeah, st- st- don't laugh. I'm going to do the whole thing again. I'm gonna say, don't well, ruin it. I, was, I wasn't laughing at the beginning, regardless. Yeah, but still, I'm going to look you in the eye and you're going to smirk. <laughs> okay, ready? And the joke didn't happen yet, so. <laughs> okay. You ever do Ancestry.com? Well, let me tell you about me. I did it recently. I, uh, I didn't know you are supposed to spit in the tube, though. I came in it. The results still came back. It told me I was Serbian. So I messaged them. I said, how'd you guys know I was Serbian? I came in the tube. They said, oh, well, you got gonorrhea, chlamydia, and HIV. I was like, all right. <laughs> A lot of yeast, too. <laughs> Trying to stand up bits on me now? What's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the show's a stand up in yours. The show's not working, Ralph. We got to switch it up. <laughs> People are complaining. All stand up. Yeah. Well, someone's um, got to make jokes <clears throat> around here. Now, did you notice my new invention that I invented? Let's see what you got. First of all, I like the shorts. You love them, right? Beer shorts. Fantastic. All, I invented something called beer shorts. Mm-hmm. And now, at parties, I like to double fist. I don't have to shake hands. I can do my thing. Yeah. Also, I don't like to have it run over the cooler all the time to get a new beer. I have a new pocket now where I can have a third beer. Even more convenient. Slip it right out. Cameron's beer. I'll put the Cameron's logo mm-hmm. over it. And boom, you're ready to go. I don't have to go to the cooler for another 30 minutes. I've got three beers on me. Listen, that's perfect. Where do you put your phone? Oh, in my underwear. Okay. There's no real pockets on this bad boy. No, there are. i got a real pocket. There's here. real pockets yeah, too? Yeah, deep. And Velcro pocket over here. It's for the wallet? Yeah. It's well, never need the wallet. Never need the wallet when you got beer in your pockets. Nope. Now, here's my question. I'm a Leo. Oh, about the podcast, yeah. Now, here's my invention, because you're going to have a third beer in your pocket at all times. Mm-hmm. I like where this is going already. There's no need for me to always be carrying so many pockets on me, mm-hmm. since you have. So I just, I just need a really big straw, just to, just to get into your you pocket. You want to get into my beer supply. I want to get into your beer supply. Almost like a catheter system. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm the human catheter. <laughs> the human catheter. Fuck me. Piss on me. Beat me. I'm home now. now. You see me when I come over today and try it out, try it out. So, so you're the catheter. Mm-hmm. I'm the urine. I'm the bladder. You're the victim, and that's the urine. Yeah, the beer's the urine, and I gotta get that urine out of you. <sighs> you one, love sucking urine out of me, one way or another. Rafi tried to suck my dick once, and he's like, "I don't even want you to come. I want you to just pee in, pee in me." <laughs> Never going to Tulum with him again. Okay, so first of all, first of all, you can't have three beers on you because by the time you get to the third one, it's gonna get warm. You didn't even think about that, did you? Uh, I did think about it. Mm-hmm. I have 30 minutes to drink a cold beer while it's still at a nice temperature. So I have 30 minutes to drink three tall cans. That's about a liter and a half of beer. If I circle back to that cooler every 30 minutes, I could easily be drinking a gallon, if not eight liters of beer, around the 12-hour period. No uh, warmness. Listen, you failed math in high school, mm-hmm. and listening to you speak now, I don't believe that. Can I say something? I don't believe that. I just made up all those numbers. But it sounds... Uh, bang on. Did it not sound confident? You know why I didn't do well a math test? They weren't oral presentations or tests. I had to actually the teacher could see well, the be- mistakes because you couldn't just lie or be funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but numbers if I, aren't funny. But if I could just orally unless present, seven, eight, nine, that's that's a joke. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, you've been is that original too? I made it up. 
that's good. I did that. That's good. Thank you. You're just hammering out jokes all the time, aren't you? Speaking of hammers. Oh, what a segue. That was a pretty huh. segue. So uh, we're going to do a new segment today. Hit the music, Wong Ping. Judge Gorka. We're going to do a new segment today called uh, Judge Gorka. Ooh. So we got here, we got the, the gavel, which is a real hammer. Oh. What I say? So it's weird because people used to call me the screwdriver cock back in school. I thought, so I thought maybe it. we'd do a screwdriver. Did you pull a screwdriver out of your dick? Yeah. Out of your, your urethra? Well, I have a catheter for it. You got a second catheter on you. Yeah. Martino's in there. <laughs> right. My friends love sucking my urine out. It's weird. All right. So you're going to have a bang on there. Smash, smash, I'm smash. Gonna, I'm going to be bringing up. Uh, Wait, hold on. You're going to smash, you're gonna smash a beer? I like, I like that. Hold this? No. You got it on me. I wouldn't mind hammering down a couple beers. All right. We're going to cut that part up. You're keeping it. You, now, I'm trying not to drink today, but you sprayed some beer on me when you opened it, mm. and I can already feel it seeping into my system. You know what I noticed, too? You kind of had like, the shakes earlier, but now that the beer's on you, you're calm as a sea. <laughs> it's just shaking clearly. <laughs> it's the graph. You can't stand still for two seconds. You're not going to stave the shakes 100%. They're always going to be there, you know? That's why I'm not, the, sort of like that that's why I'm not the judge, okay? I'm going to hammer something I shouldn't. Mm. So we're playing a game called Judge Corka. I'm going to give you unique court cases throughout history, okay. and you're going to give me your verdict on wh- wh- what the punishment should be. Let me clear my mind first <clears throat> and have a quick... <clears throat> of course. I hope you get so drunk, you use your microphone as a hammer, and you just end up breaking it. <laughs> I get so drunk, I just, I'm like, Cosby didn't do it. I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, listen, we'll get there. I'd be shocked if Bill Cosby wasn't involved in this segment, by the way. I'm not, I don't know what he's going to do. I'd be shocked if Cosby wasn't involved. Judge Corka, I know you hate weathermen. You hate weathermen. I, we- I haven't even seen you the last couple of days. I've been going off on weathermen. But, Ask but, anyone. But you're a judge and you need to be unbiased because you're a judge. If I can say something to why we hate weathermen, we have a theory goes back to Curb where we thought uh, the weatherman was an avid golfer. I want to take it a step further. I think the weatherman is just a huge uh, ketamine addict and he just wants uh, festivals and parks to be open for him. Because he just wants a clear park. He, he never want lineups. He, so he never says, or he always says there's going to be rain. He always says it's going to be rain on a hot day. <clears throat> always. That's fair. That's fair. Because then yeah. he gets to do whatever he wants. Mm-hmm. He's abusing the system. Yeah. So unbiased towards the weather right now. Unbiased. Well, there's five different apps and they all have different weather. They're all choosing the weather based on their own needs for their own personal schedule. Court case number one. Okay. An Israeli woman. You Guilty. Also, you also hate Jews. Hold Guilty. on. Guilty. You also hate Jews. And you, you really, so you got to be unbiased against the Jews too. I am Jewish. Okay, well, according to your... Come on! <laughs> you're telling me I'm not Jewish. You, you, I got a bagel on my cock. You said Circumcised your, cock. You send your Ancestry.ca uh, just an audio clip of you saying that. <laughs> and they're like, he's a Jew. <laughs> I'm good with oral presentations. And I'm also good at... Hammer and drinks. Hammer and drinks as well. Um, an Israeli woman tried to sue a TV station once because the weatherman said it was going to be a sunny day, but it rained instead. Can I say something? Yes. I wasn't listening. You have to restart. All right. An Israeli woman tried to sue a TV, a TV station once because the weatherman said it was going to be a sunny day, but it rained You got to talk slower, too. I really want to focus on the case <clears> as a judge. <throat> An Israeli woman tried to... just su- quickly, sorry. Calm down. Now that uh, I know what we're doing, let me have a beer. I'm get sorry. my logic. I'm sorry, judge. You're out of order. Kangaroo court. Kangaroo court. I don't know what that means. It's because that's why you're not a judge. An Israeli woman tried to sue a TV station once because the weatherman said it was going to be a sunny day, but it rained instead. The woman wasn't dressed properly for rain, so she got the flu and she had to miss work for a week and pay for medication. I missed last part. Is the TV station liable? Judge Korka. I missed the second part. Do you know this woman? I need to know the details. This is just a famous court case. I learned about it it in law school. One more time? Tell it one more time and I'll be ready. Are you playing a game while I'm playing a game? Mm-hmm. Just tell it one more time. I promise I won't interrupt. Oh, you have to read it this time. An Israeli woman. Guilty. And I, I'm even using the wrong tool. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed you pick it up, and I'm like, what's he going to do? Okay, give it to me for real. I promise you, I swear okay. on our friendship, I won't interject. Listen, listen. What was I looking at the camera? What, look? what camera? What do you think <clears throat> I told I promise, starting now. 
I actually took time to get ready a game for once for the TV for the like, podcast. Yeah, I'm proud so, of you. so we had something to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry. You're upset that I'm doing comedy on the comedy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, give it to me. <clears throat> no, no, I want I want you to tell me what you think you've heard so far. Israeli woman. Mm-hmm. Uh, I lost it. I lost it after that port. Something about she. They control the rain. They control the weather. Uh, you that, said. that is what they do. That is what they do. Yeah. An Israeli woman sued a TV station once because the weatherman said it was going to be a sunny day and it rained instead, mm. and she wasn't dressed appropriately, so she got sick, had to miss a week of work, pay for all this medication. Right. Does she have a case against the weatherman? She has a case against the patriarchy, which I guess Me too. you have to dress a certain way. Maybe. I don't know anything about the rules there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say guilty. She has no case. No case? No case. You're, you're getting the weatherman uh, scot-free. Yeah. It's only important. because only because if you don't already know that the weatherman... Or if, if you're reading the weather and you take it as gospel... Right. You know what? There's an analogy somewhere in here. If you're taking something that someone that doesn't know what they're talking about as literal gospel and religion, and you take that... Th- Everything is a little subjective. Think for yourself. The just Judge Cork, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Also, she's a woman. Of course, case number two. And I'm proud of you. You weren't biased towards the weatherman. Yeah. But, but, uh, the Jew. but again, I am biased against women. Mm. When, by the way, whenever I say a woman in the last 10 seconds, censor it out. Sure. Okay. Of course, case number two. <clears throat> and I love... A Romanian prisoner who was serving a 20-year sentence for murder tried to sue Romanian. God... <laughs> this whole thing is just going to be me being racist. <laughs> you know what? I should have never included the races of the people. <laughs> why Why did you do that? You knew what was going to happen. <laughs> That's my fuck up lately, Judge Gorka. A black woman. <laughs> A Serbian. <laughs> I thought you were going to be taking it easy with the hammer. <laughs> First of all, you gave me a hammer, you gave me booze, and you got racy. What do you think was gonna happen? You set me up for failure. You're the you're guilty. <laughs> you're just smashing kneecaps. All right, listen. You're the Jew. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Guys, guys. <laughs> the comedy is comedy podcast. Comedy podcast. We don't actually care about race. We don't care about that stuff. Um, but we do care about being uh, just. just Old fashioned and just. You love old fashions. I wish I could the pull pure, an old fashioned. The pureness of an old fashioned. Anyways, <clears throat> give it to me. Romanian prisoner who was serving a 20 year sentence for murder tried to sue God because God didn't keep the devil's influence away from him. You tried yeah. to sue God? You tried to sue God. Who are you going to sue? Now, you know, I, I'm, I used to be a man of God. Yeah. How are you going to sue Stephen Jarrett of the Liverpool Red Lions? Classic. I was, I was going to say Tom Brady, but. Either or. Tomatoes. You know, no one's ever seen them in the same room. What a, a simple Google search shows uh, their roommates. Best friends. Yeah. Best friends. I <laughs> love it. Um, yeah, they've never been in the same room. They're pen pals. Sure. <laughs> the, the big house, all that money. Okay. okay. Now tell us, does he have a case against the, the our Lord and Savior? <sighs> Honestly, if God is real, he has a huge case. Yeah, I would say yeah. Okay. Not not guilty. I think he's a one person. That's ever tried to sue God. It's pretty cool. It would, Someone's yeah. got to try. It would be a gypsy, too. I pictured, I pictured an American doing it first. Because yeah. America's love. No, that's not. Uh, I think uh, Lucifer Morningstar was the first. And he, mm, never heard of him. We all know how that turned out. Nope. He's, I don't know anything about the Lucifer and uh, God dynamic. He's Satan. All right. Listen, do you remember the time we were hanging out with a, a producer? We were, we were, you know what, we were by working the way, on a show? No, you're Lucifer. I'm God in this podcast template if we're gonna relate it to religion you're the wicked what about now? you're now you're a gaysifer clark kent and super you're gaysifer and i'm and i'm god still god you're jew okay <laughs> we gotta we gotta pass that <clears throat> um remember we're working on uh with tevia we're working for a tv producer and he had a crush on corka and he was like stefan it wasn't a crush he was just trying to fuck me yeah. stefan what a unique name. I love that name so much. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, my name is Lucifer. What about my, what about my name? And he's like, no, I don't like you. No, not your name. I'm like, well, what's, wrong? what's wrong? My name's way more unique than Stefan. And he goes, I don't like your name. That was, that was the devil's name before he fell from heaven. And I was like, what? And he goes, yeah. 
I'm like, no, you're thinking of Lucifer. And he goes, I don't think so. Absurd. Absurd. Because you know why? Because you were the temp. You were my assistant on that show. You had mustard stains all over your shirt. You were eating tomato sandwiches all day. Not even a thing. This, this guy eats four tomato sandwiches for breakfast. There's mustard everywhere. By the way, he eats sandwiches. The cold old bread, expiré de. Mustard and tomato. That's it. I've never seen anything like it before. And there's just mustard all over him. There's a picture of him from this weekend. There's mustard stains all over him. And... Uh, of course, if you do, hey, listen, you're a handsome man, but when you're showing up to work in a professional atmosphere, and you just got mustard all over you, he's gonna think Raphael's an ugly name. In 1991, Richard Overton sued uh, Anheuser Busch, which is the beer company, terrible name, for ten thousand dollars, claiming the company had falsely advertised the scene of beautiful women and men enjoying themselves while drinking beer. Overton was upset when he discovered this type of lifestyle was not reality for merely drinking beer. That question was longer than all of our previous episodes combined. Yep. Um, what were you asking me? This loser is drinking beer and upset that he's not having as much fun as the, the people in the commercials. Oh, so have, coming from someone who never, didn't really listen, this guy saw a fun beer commercial and mm-hmm. sued them because he didn't have as much fun drinking their beer. Mm-hmm. There's no woman around him. What There's no big busty broads. Fucking loser, man. Uh, you and me like to drink beer. Love it. We've never drank beer, and there's not been big busty broads and having a party Dude. around us. Okay? Busty broads everywhere, all, all the time. That, that, that commercial is reality. Actually, do us a favor, Wang Ping. Reverse the camera and show our studio audience. Show us your cock. Yeah, hey, we'll see you guys later, if you know what I mean. Play the music. Yeah, what a loser. No, I'm definitely... No. How can you even be on this guy's side? Life sentence? Death penalty. There we go. And you know what? I'll be the judge and executioner. And then you just killed him? Yeah. <laughs>